Heather Pugh's been singing since she could talk. As a little wee girl, yes. My first concert, I would think I was three. A nurse by day, evening choir practice with the Watson Airs is her musical outlet. And now I have a job that's a daytime job, so I can go in the evening too. Yes, you're practicing all the time. In fact, you'll wake up at night singing, singing these pieces. Mrs. Watson started the choir in 1955. It had over 30 members, mainly from high school. Today, there are less than 20. And if you remember to turn on a little bit of a smile, that would help too. Pew is the president of the Prince Albert Ladies Choir. Just one of many to hold the position over the last 60 years. You know, it's developed and it's changed over the past years. Um, you know, people are working now, so it's harder for the girls, you know, to get together and to give that commitment. Whereas a few years ago, that was maybe uh, your outing. The performance at the Alliance Church marks 25 years of Christmas concerts. These local songbirds also carol in nursing homes and help bring attention to local charities. Our mandate is to raise funds for the Salvation Army Christmas Cheer Fund. So I feel like that was a success. Although membership numbers are low, the director is hopeful they'll rebound, as many people like to sing. I'm hoping that we can recruit a few more for the spring, um, but you know, lives get busy and, and people opt out if they're raising young children or, or changing jobs. Voices and kindred spirits come together on and off the stage. It's the camaraderie with, with different women, people from different backgrounds. It definitely is love of music, love of bringing the music message to the other people, love of being on stage. The Watson Airs will celebrate their anniversary with their spring concert, the first Sunday afternoon in May. Some music from the 50s, the 60s, and so on. And we'll pick our favorites. And we still have a member that joined them very shortly after they were uh, formed. For Shaw, I'm Lisa Rizzo.